Welcome, boys and girls and fellow lifelong learners. I'm Keith Diakiu, and I'm here on location at Writing on Stone Provincial Park. What you're seeing is some of the chemical erosion and hoodoos, as well as the petroglyphs. And so just to touch on the hoodoo, just to your left, you have more resistive rock, which is of course a, a formation that was above the least resistive rock below. So that more resistive rock becomes a cap rock and protects all of the less resistive material underneath. So then you get that hoodoo shape and with wind and water, it basically sculpts it over millions of years. If you look really closely in the middle of your screen, you're gonna start seeing some of the petroglyphs. There's something that almost looks like a propeller and then just right of it, you have like a claw and then a deer. So you can see there's been human activity for thousands of years. So with this geologic wonder that kind of highlights the cut banks of a glacial spillway once upon a time, and then through weathering, you get hoodoos and all of these kind of potholes that are forming through chemical erosion. So it's a very outstanding site and I welcome you guys to come visit when you get a chance. It's just north of the 49th parallel here at Riding on Stone Provincial Park. We want to give that land acknowledgement that we are on Treaty 7, homeland of the Blackfoot in Canada, the Blackfeet in Montana, and of course home of the Métis as well. So we have Liam on the left. He's doing a rubbing. He's uncovering one of the pictographs of a man, probably a warrior on the left in blue. And Riley, he's doing a rubbing of a horse on the right. Mine looks like a soldier and way back in the centuries this would probably be a very good photo on the blue side there's a river leading into the brown side there's a river the same thing because they're in the same pictures but me and liam did two different colors and that's right and if you look just above i'm going to just move the camera up what's above it's the teepee that's right of the village so this is probably where the war zone was to fight for their country. Fight for their land. These pigs are all connected. And that's what makes it so special. 